My name is Kira. I'm from ASU Sciences Fund, and today um, we're going to be working with some really cold materials. So we got to make sure we're wearing our safety equipment. So I'm going to be putting on eye protection and these gloves. And then make sure if you're doing science experiments that you have either a parent or teacher with you to make to keep things safe. Okay. So I have this right here. Do you guys know what this is? That's right. It's called dry ice. Do you guys know why it's called dry ice? So if you look at it, when you have regular ice, when you put it on the table, you get a liquid that comes off it comes off as water. And if you have dry ice, you see how there's no liquid coming off of it? So it doesn't get wet, and so it goes straight to a gas. And this is what we call sublimation. Can you guys say sublimation? Perfect. So with dry ice, do you know how cold it is and why we have to wear the gloves? It's actually, it's negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit. Do you think it gets that cold anywhere on Earth? That's right, it does. In the middle of Antarctica in the winter, it gets that cold. So if you were to travel down where the penguins live, you could find dry ice in real life. Okay? So we're going to, we're going to do something special with this. What do you think will happen if I put it in this water that's warm? Well, let's try it and find out. Okay? So what's happening? Right, it's bubbling, and you get this fog that comes off the top. So, why do you think it's bubbling? Exactly, so it's still subliming, so the gas does not mix with the water, and so it comes off the top in this fog. Now, where does the, um, where does the dry ice get the energy to bubble and, and to sublime? Right, it gets it from the water. When it was, I was holding it in my hand, it was getting it from the air and turning into a gas. Now it's getting it from the warm water, and heat always, uh, heat always flows from hot to cold. So it's going from the warm water into the cold ice and turning into a gas. So I have this balloon right here. And I'm having a party, and I need to blow up a bunch of balloons. So how do you think I can get this balloon to blow up? Well, let's try it. We're going to put it on top of here and see if it works. So what's happening? And the balloon is blowing up. Where is it getting the energy to blow up? All right, it's coming from the dry ice and the gas bubbles that it's making. And it blows up the balloon and makes it bigger. OK, so I also, since I'm having a party, we also need music. And in order to have music, I have the singing spatula. So do you guys have any ideas on how we can make the spatula sing? Because it's not singing right now. Well, let's try it. Let's try put, putting some dry ice on the spatula and see what happens. So what's happening? <laughs> yeah, so the dry ice is still subliming and it's making gas bubbles when it touches the spatula. So where is it getting the energy to sublime this time? It's coming from the spatula, which is warmer than the dry ice, so heat's flowing from hot to cold into the dry ice and making it sublime. And it makes it vibrate, which makes that sound. So why does it stop then? So now that if you look, you can see the frost. And this dry ice is the same temperature as the spatula now, so it doesn't, um, it doesn't sublime anymore in that spot. And this is what we call thermal equilibrium. Can you guys say thermal equilibrium? 